Hi, what's going on? I'm Redhead Rob. I'm currently hijacking Ben's show so that we might do the speedball challenge. You're <laughs> like, nope. <laughs> We're gonna stop this recording. Just erase it and start over. <laughs> I'm a genius! A speedball is a drink that's become popular in the Ipsy Ann Arbor area lately, where it is an espresso shot mixed with a dark stout. The first contender for what beer makes the best speedball is Vanilla Java Porter. I'm, I'm getting in some of the aroma. Wow, that's really good, actually. <laughs> Just tastes like fizzy coffee to me. Yeah, a little bit. <clears throat> Doesn't even really taste like alcohol. I do like it. It's not something I would go out for, though. Maybe the alcoholic in me needs more of an alcohol taste. I don't know. It's got a good smell to it. I think it smells like chocolate, which is hilarious, because it's the vanilla java porter. I like the flavor, but the, the, the beer is lost to the coffee, in my eyes. I agree with that. Mm. What would you rate it? One through five? Probably three. Maybe a three? Yeah, I'd say three. Mm. I like booze, but this just isn't boozing enough. It's decent, but... I'm going to say maybe a 2.7 tops. Ooh, we're doing a point scale? Oh, yeah. In that case, I'm going 2.8. <laughs> Number two! Number Edmund Fitz, the Eddie Fitzgerald. Oh! Eddie Fitzgerald and coffee. That actually is really good. That's a lot better. It's got a little more bitter of a taste. I do enjoy this. This is better than I thought it would be, honestly. It's got a good malt flavor. Yeah, I guess you could say it that. It complements the bitterness of the coffee very well. How about a, how about a 3.9? Ooh, wow. That's, That's really high. good. I like that. Very sexy. I'm going with a 3.4. I like the smell. I like the bitter aftertaste. Wine and Kugel. Creamy dark. It's just fizzy coffee. It's got just a hint. It's like somewhere right in between the last two. No hint of the, the lager that once was. It's got a more bitter aftertaste. A little more. I don't think that's the coffee. It's, seriously, I taste no... It just tastes like I dumped coffee in soda water. Mmm. That's no good. Mm-mm. Now I got that, like, stuck in my head. I tainted Hold your... <laughs> yeah. You tainted my three. So I'm saying three. You really decided? I, I convinced you? Nah. My lack of, like, I don't give a fuck. If it does taste different after you said that, and it totally did. <laughs> oh, my God. It's yeah, I'm still a three. three. Yeah. Three is happening. And, uh, Sh Samuel Adams Cream Stout. Yeah, I can taste the roasted malts, but it just, it's not... There's nothing special about this beer. I mean, mm. yeah, it's staying at a two. Ah, there's nothing special about this. I keep trying, hoping. Yeah, every time. Every time. Uh, I'm maybe giving this like a one point eight tops. Oh damn, really? Yeah. I'm giving higher scores than you in general. I must be more enthusiastic <laughs> about being a drunk. No integrity. <laughs> so we are on the Devil Dog, Dog. Oatmeal Stout. Uh, handcrafted. Smells good, I'll tell you that. Oh, that is delicious. Wow. Woo. That's like the right blend right there. Holy shit. It's a thick oatmeal. The coffee had too much bitter at the end for it to be a perfect five. It's definitely the best blend overall. It's got a, a good malty taste. Bit bitter, but it, it, I don't know. I can't really taste the coffee so much. I still taste the coffee. I don't know, I think it's a lot, I think it's definitely the best blend of the two. I think it's definitely by far uh, the best one we've had so far. I'm going to give it probably a 4.2, maybe a 4.3. Mm. 4.7. 4.7. That's where I'm calling it. All right, 4.7. It was, it was the best one so far. Decadent dark chocolate ale. Seriously, it smells like a black and mild. That's blowing my mind. That is some of the best thing I've ever had in my life. Oh my god. <laughs> Just staring at it. It's like some sort of, it's like ice cream. It's like chocolate ice cream with coffee. And a hint of beer. I'm calling it right now. Five. Jesus. What are you going? Perfect five, huh? If by that you mean I will be drinking more of these in my life, then yes. From the moment it hits your tongue, the aftertaste, that whole swirl around that I don't normally do when I'm drinking, but I did here. Mmm. Man, that is so good. I'm so <laughs> shy. Like, it's mind-blowing. I don't even know where to begin. I mean, 
It is amazing. It's, it's a, a astounding. I can't even. I mean, I'm gonna rank them. Mm. So, yeah, that's definitely number one. Or is it, yeah. Or are we ranking one being the worst? So, I guess my order would definitely be um, the Decadent Dark Chocolate, then the. I'm gonna go with maybe. The Fitz. The Yummy Fitz. The Devil Dog. Mm. Vanilla Java. And then Cream Stout or Line and Cool. It doesn't matter. They're both not decent. But, uh, so yeah, Decadent, Devil Dog, and then the uh, Vanilla Java, then the Great Lakes. And then it doesn't really matter what the last two, the Line and Kugel and the Sand Adams, because they were equally surprisingly disappointing. All right, so this has been the Speedball Challenge, even though it wasn't really a challenge, it was just us drinking six beers. Pretty it was, intoxicated at this point. It was fun. It was a good time. I had a lot of time, uh, and, and fun in that time that, uh, that held there. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>